All right, traders, today is April 2nd, 2010. I just wanted to do and show you a video on the Atlas line trading a few currencies. Today, most markets were closed or half day, so I'm going to show you charts uh, based on yesterday, April 1st, 2010, to see how trading these markets utilizing the Atlas line would have done. As you can see, price started off below the Atlas line right here. There, and all these short setups began to take effect. Okay? Short setup, bounce. These bounces are because it hit the Atlas line and bounced down. So you have all these short setups occurring. Remember, below the Atlas line, we go short. As soon as price popped its head above the Atlas line, we started to get long entries, double bar long, bounce long. So there's no reason to go short this market once it penetrated above the Atlas line. So we go long and we stay long. There's signals that are given. You can follow them, but the, ba the main thing to know is that whatever you decide to do with the market, do not go short, stay long because of the Atlas line, okay? And as you could see, price never headed downward. Actually went up, and this was a short setup that occurred, but we do, don't take short setups if they're above the Atlas line. Even though it worked out, we skipped it. But basically staying above and along the Atlas line on the Japanese Yen was the way to go, okay? You could say price never penetrated below the Atlas line. This was Japanese Yen, April 1st. Let's take a look at another market. All right, the DAX seems to be a very good market for the Atlas line. So I have the DAX as of yesterday, April 1st. As you can see, we had a double bar long in this area to go long. Market went up a little bit, not too much. Went all the way up here. Okay, this is double bar long on the DAX. Market went up, and then it came back down. And as it came back down, it penetrated the Atlas line. All right. As it penetrated, we got a bounce over here. See, it bounced off the Atlas line. Great little support play. Bounce back up. Finally, it penetrated the Atlas line, and we got all these short setups. Short setup, double bar short. So taking the DAC short right here was a great play. Nice move down. And then DAX shot straight up, and look what happened at this point. Acted as resistance. It was a bounce short in the DAX. Signal given in the mid-afternoon. And look at the DAX drop. Below the Atlas line, taking it short was the way to go. See that? very clear the direction we want to be. Let's take a look at one more other market. All right, guys, and I have here the Canadian dollar yesterday, April 1st. As you could see, all these bounces began to take effect. Bounce, long, bounce, long, double bar, long, bounce, long, all because it was hitting resistance here. I'm sorry, support here on the Atlas line. There you go. Okay, so all these orders began to take shape and there was a bounce long here because it bounced off the Atlas line. And once price actually penetrated across the Atlas line, this was our reason to go short. So we went short, a few short setups set up right there. Again, a bounce short right here taking it to the downside again nice move down right here remember taking it short was the way to go on the atlas line and look price maintained below the atlas line never crossed back above staying short or taking only short trades was the way to go All right, it's the Canadian dollar just to show you what's set up on a few markets April 1st we have a webinar today on the atlas line I just wanted to Touch base with everyone before the Atlas Line webinar 
show you a few examples. Thanks, and I'll see everyone later.